Kepsi Budalezi, Ivan Roos and Ulrich Lau, just three of the potentials that you know, there's a big void to, to fill the gap of Dwayne Vermeulen at Ulster. Yeah, look, I'd, I'd say, look, at these are the local aids. There's still Jasper Visa and mm. um, Van and I see he's covering eight at least. So they, uh, we spoke about Ron Ackerman a couple of times, but I think we're very lucky in this country to have three mm. very talented aids. For me, I think Ulrich Lowe's is more of a seven than an eight. Um, I like the, the, the look of Roos and Butelezi, front foot, um, explosive, very skillful. But for me, uh, sorry, uh, Ulrich Lowe, just from the, the moment, I think he came from the Kings to the Bulls and he did well. I remember watching him for the Kings play against Connaught. I had never seen him and I thought, geez, I remember speaking to you, Robbie, who's this guy? And it's just a physical player, a front foot player, tackles well, competitive, lineup option, uh, ticks all the boxes of, of a South African loose forward. Yeah, that he does. But potentially just one thing he's got to work on going backwards, as all number eights do, which is potentially why you prefer him as a seven. I back Shimmy on that one. Yeah. I like him more as a seven because often uh, he, he has got a chance to work back and, he, and you'd wait. Uh, uh, where for me, a classical eight is the ability to go forward and when the kick comes to help with the counter-attack to work back. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's such a small component. Mm -hmm. All in all, he covers every, he ticks every box for me. Mm -hmm. And Robbie, what I enjoy about him, he's so consistent. You know, you hardly ever see yeah, him disappear true. in a game. He's yeah. there, he's consistent, so... You know he's coming, he's got board in hand, and he still manages somehow to get around yes. it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Ivan Roos, Shum, you know quite a bit about this game. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. it came from, I think it was a Paul Boys went to Durban, came back to the Western Cape, but I think we, we've spoken quite a lot of on previous shows, explosive, I think, off, in terms of being an athlete, I think probably the best in, in terms of just pure athleticism. Um, he was an ex-sprinter, but you can see his explosive power um, defensively, getting stuck in, uh, good over the ball, but also a threat at the back of the scrum because he's so quick. And also if there's an offload opportunity from a backline player, this guy gets the ball. Almost um, sort of a, a, white, a Warren Whitey sort of speed, you exactly. know, where he can accelerate onto the ball. It's like having an extra backline player. If he, if he gets a line break and he goes, he's just as fast as any of the backs. I would like to see that combination. Maybe a low at seven, Ruas at eight, and then with a typical traditional old fetcher, you know, who's in there the whole time and making rubbish. So that's my take. Pepsi Budelezi, move him to six while you can. Put him under the wing of Sia Kulisi. There's no better person to teach him the ropes. What about that? Oh, you're brilliant for a prop, Robbie, I must say. <laughs> so we um, all agree all three should be in the same team. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he's, he's um, great, great, phenomenal. I think super rugby experience, um, game sense wise, something else, you know. His ability to read, identify that there's players outside of him, his body positioning is good. You can see him bouncing people. Look at these skills at the back there, the handoff, uh, almost looking for the offload. You know, uh, awareness of where he is physically as a player, but a phenomenal player. Look, I, I'm not sure what he's like at the breakdown in terms of fetching, mm -hmm. but I think he's got the speed and the toughness to, 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 to manage that role also. But mm -hmm. we've got three, three very good young uh, loose forwards, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't think any of them are... What, no, I, he's, I, he's good with the yeah, steel. How old is Eric Lowe? He's yeah. can't be 23, 24. 22. I think, 22. I think, yeah, yeah. And I think Ivan Roos, the same age. And, yeah, they're and all Butelezi. future. Yeah. And Pepsi, a good leader as well. Yeah, you, you fast forward mm -hmm. these guys three, four years' time. I mean, mm -hmm. they're going to be absolute superstars. And you're so right, learning all the, all the tricks of the trade from, from the Springbok mm -hmm. captain there. Yeah. He steals ball well. I remember yeah. in previous shows, I took clips out where he steals ball. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, he's got... Uh, uh, you're right, we're blessed. We're yeah. blessed with good, good number sevens and eights. 